I'm Jimmy Chang, and we're here to talk about how to use rounding in math problems. Now, how to round really depends on the context as to the directions of the particular problem, because they often give you some really good word clues as to what numbers to round. So for example, if they say round to the nearest 10, then that means something's going to get rounded to 50 or 60 or 80, depending on what the situation is. So for example, if you have 74, as long as you use the rules of rounding, 5 or above, you round to the next uh, digit, and below 5, you round down. For 74, it rounds to uh, 70. Or if it was nearest 100, where if you have 200 and 51. Again, if it's 50 or more, you round to the nearest 100. If it's below 50, you round down. This rounds up to 300. Now, so on and so forth. However, if you have other words, such as the nearest 10th, you're rounding to the nearest one decimal place. So for example, if you have 3.15, it's either going to go to 3.1 or 3.2. And again, you use the rules of rounding. Since this is f 5 and above, this rounds to 3.2. Now, if you have hundredth, you have two decimal places and thousand, three decimal places, so on and so forth. So it all depends on what words that they're looking for, and that gives you a clues as to what numbers to round. So I'm Jimmy Chang, and that's how to use rounding in math.